hello guys i'm henry balogun and thank you for watching as always with me today is glory hello glory glory and today we are going to be talking about uh, making career decisions glory will soon be going to university and then so i thought on the basis of that we should just find out how she chose a career a course of study in the university so glory anyway congratulations ahead yeah thank you and you i know you go to a very good university i will do you promise yes I do. are you sure yeah i know i know all right um what course do you want to study i want to study english you want to study english yeah are you an english man no a french man no but what is your attraction for English language? Why do you want? Of you, you did it not. You didn't see um, in IT, information technology, um, or even law, or acting, accounting. St- you just decided to do English. Yeah. How come? Why? I decided to do English because of the flair I have for the subject. You have flair for it. Yeah. What kind of flair? Um. I don't know how to put it actually, but I just I love the subject so well. Wow. Yeah. So I, it, that means you score high in yeah, your English. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How did you fall in love with English? Okay. It's um all started with my dad. He was my teacher. He made me fall in love with something. Oh, that your dad must be awesome. <laughs> yeah, he is. Tell me about it. So <laughs> then continue. Okay. I remember that, um in my junior school. So a day before we had our English exam, so I told him I had had difficulty in a part, in an aspect in English. So he like he put me through. So ever since then, like the method he introduced in teaching me, ever since then I I was I was making making it in that subject. And even my friends, they were like, ah, we too, we are not getting this. So I used that same method for them, and they also got high score. So that's the reason why I like I like the I, I like the fact that I could impact. To people, to my mates, and even people, are, even people ahead of me, even people older, and even the younger ones too. Interesting. That, that means so those people who don't have a dad like your dad now, who oh well, um, who can help them do better. Well, well. Anyway, let's hope that they watch this video and maybe we can share some things with you, you guys on how to make a career decision. Yeah. You know. All right, so you want to study English language. Yes. Up to what level do you want to? PhD. You want to get the PhD. You want to become an English language professor. Yeah. Tell me about it. (laughs) Wow. Okay. Do you write, like, short stories or or plays? Do you hope to write a novel sometimes? Yeah, I hope to write novels. Mm, What kind of novels do you read? I read um, adventures. Uh I read... Horror. Oh, <laughs> you, you like people like you like uh, authors like Stephen King. Yeah, fantastic. Well, it's it's really interesting, guys. You know, and all right. Apparently, it seems Glory has found something she loves to do, and I believe that if you put your effort in what you love, you will succeed at it. And what is the highest score you have recorded in an English test? Okay, my highest score is ninety-five. Ninety-five out yeah, of hundred. A hundred. Um, 95 out of 100 it means she has something there all right so wait i would like to share one more technique while you're it's, it's nice that you've made up your mind on what to study okay let me share something with you and people watching so that they can have a a clearer vision of how to make a career decision oh right. we'll go it's based on this japanese uh, uh, technique called ikigai where you merge different areas of your life and i will start like this Let's 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 get closer so we can see when I write. All right. So it starts with you deciding what am I good at? First things first. Don't worry about my handwriting. Just read. It's not really. What am I good at? Mm-hmm. Yes. What am I good at? You should ask yourself this question. That's the first question you should ask yourself before making a career decision. You know, it's important. 
It doesn't have to be the most popular thing in the world, but just decide what am I good at. Next thing you can look at is, is you should look at actually. What do I love? What do you love doing? What do you enjoy doing? What does time stop for you when you are doing? It's important to also consider that in making a career decision. And thirdly, also add what does the world need? You can add from me. One, two, three. These three questions are questions you should ask. You should ask yourself these three questions when you make a career decision. What am I good at? What do I love? What does the world need? Because whatever you decide to do with yourself requires effort, requires hard work, requires a lot of hard work. And if you are not interested in what you are doing, if you don't have love for it, if you can't stand it, you are going to quit along the way. You might not succeed at that thing. So. Before you make a career decision, always ask yourself, if it is academics, for example, like you want to choose a, a course to study in school, ask yourself, what am I good at? If in school, what subjects am I good at? What subjects do I excel in? Like Glory already found her own. She knows she's caused 90, she has scored 95 out of 100. She has found something she's good at, you know? And now, another question is, what do I love? Sometimes what you are good at, you might not really love it. That's, that's deep, right? But sometimes you might not love what you are good at. So it's important that you consider what you love. Because it's easier for you to become better at what you love than what you are naturally good at. Believe me. So think about it. What do I love? What am I good at? Since Glory here says she loves English language, it means she's, she's lucky. She has found what she's good at and what she loves. It, 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 from there, it can only get better. It can only get better from there. You know? So, if you look at also what the world needs, that's important. What am I good at? What do I love? Now, merge the three, the two ideas together to find a solution you can give to the world. For example, she wants to make the, the she wants to study English language because she loves English language a lot. Fine. And what can she do with that? She can write. She can write good stuff that can help people. She can also teach the English language, you know? So the world needs better teachers, better writing, and good stuff. So if she puts all these elements together, eventually she'll come up with a good career that will not be frustrating and something she can succeed at, you know? So what do you make of this idea, this concept of choosing a career? Okay, I think um, <clears throat> the three items here are, are best in considering any um, career you want to go into. Like you have to consider these three ideas. These, these three elements, yeah. like, okay. So you, you're good at English studies, right? Yes, I love you, English. Okay. Well, uh, let, me, let, me, let me just add a little bit. Um, you might, as you grow older, you know, you might also decide to do other things with yourself, you know, but understand that if you always ask yourself these questions, you know, in making decisions like that, you always have something valuable to hold on to that will help your career choice or your business choice. If you want to start a business, for example, if you ask yourself these kinds of questions, it will help you choose a business that you can stay on and, you know, weather the storm and succeed at you know yeah well so guys um thank you so much for watching do you have any word of advice for the people watching okay my advice is that you go through these questions answer them as honest as you can yeah yes then you'll be able to find a career of your choice and then that career will, will be even helpful to the world all right guys thank you for watching thank you glory for sharing with us and then Tell your friends to share this video. Okay, like, my friends share. out there, share, like.
Thank yeah. you. Yes, and comment also. Comment, drop comments also. Let us know what you think. If you agree with us, share. If you don't agree, drop your comments. Let us know your take on this. Thank you so much for watching. From me, peace. From Glory, peace. Bye. Thank Bye. you, guys.